Hey, you two, welcome back. So uh, today, I'm going to uh, unbox uh, this. This one is the Encel uh, BD500. It's an old system, Bluetooth 5.0, OBD2 uh, scanner for uh, Volkswagen Audi C Skoda uh, car co-reader with the EPB uh, reset service, reset uh, throttle running, Vehicle Diagnostic Scanner Scan Tool for iPhone, iPad, and uh, other uh, Androids. It is a manufacturer uh, level diagnosis for full system of uh, Volkswagen Audi uh, Group vehicles. So it does uh, EPB uh, reset, service reset, throttle uh, learning, engine, transmission, airbag, TPMS, ABS, SAS, BMS and more. It also does a uh, full OBD2 uh, test modes for engine uh, system for all vehicle uh, brands. So if you have like a Toyota, Honda, Acura, Lexus or other brand, it could read codes, erase codes, live data stream, freeze frame, IM readiness, onboard monitor uh, test, O2 sensor test, EVAS system test, vehicle information and uh, DTC uh, lookup. So with its own uh, exclusive uh, app offers uh, more service for all uh, vehicle brands. By the way, I'd like to give the shout out to N from their marketing team for sending me this and for another collaboration. In case you guys missed the other n uh, scan tool that I did the review on, you can check out the link the screenshot in the description or check out on my channel. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this. So here's the product description that I just uh, went over. And here's the scanner right here. You could also perform the uh, test and uh, trip analysis. And this is the Bluetooth uh, 5.0 connection. And uh, right here, you download the app from uh, Google Play or the App Store. And here's the user manual guide right here. By the way, you get the lifetime uh, update on this thing, so through the app. And uh, here's the adapter right here. Pretty uh, compact and small, so you can carry it anywhere with you. And it is uh, made in uh, China. So 
So yeah, let's go and then uh, go and test out the 2007 Volkswagen uh, Rabbit. All right, so before we go and test out on the vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and then, uh, download the app. So I go to uh, QR code scan. And then I click on the link. So it's an uh, install right here, the app. And just uh, click on install. Yeah, so make sure uh, install it first before we uh, turn on the Bluetooth to get uh, connected. So uh, click on open. Press OK. And uh, click on I agree. So you gotta add a click on next while using the app. So it's trying to uh, looking for Bluetooth right now. So we gotta connect this uh, into the vehicle now. Then, okay. All right. So we over here in the garage. Uh, this is the 2007 Volkswagen, and then we're gonna locate the OBD2 uh, port. And normally it's under the steering wheel column. For this car is that purple one on the left hand side. And as you can see the LED is on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sync it with the app. And be sure you uh, turn it on. And uh, now we're gonna sync it. Alright, it says uh, connected successfully. I'm gonna turn on the flash. Wow. You got the setting, members uh, center, flashlight. Feedback, help, report, diagnostic, battery check, my vehicle. Let's go and see my vehicle. So I guess uh, you gotta scan it first. Diagnostic, click on next, allow. All right, so it shows the uh, Volkswagen Audi service uh, reset, replace the brake pad, ETC reset, and then the OBD2. Go ahead and check it out. So right here it shows the uh, vehicle in, uh, inspection, common system, all system, special function, and then a uh, crafter 2006 to 2017. Go ahead and uh, see the vehicle inspection. Go ahead and click on quick inspection. All right, so it's uh, 11. Three numbers of uh, system focal total number of uh, failure. So right here, I give you the information, and then uh, focal, no focal, 
So right here, give you like a engine speed, coolant, number control, basic uh, setting requirement. See what's this one? So it shows a license plate uh, lamp activation for windshield washer pump. And right here shows a uh, left uh, front parking light, right front parking light, left rear parking light, right rear uh, parking light. So I guess yeah, you get the test this out. Let me check. So right now I turn on the parking light. It shows 100%. Uh, so all those are working. Let's go and see uh, door electronic driver side. CFO code. So it shows the uh, lock unit for central locking driver side, and then a uh, signal locking on the driver's side. So it gives like a wiki so you can look it up and how to fix it and stuff like that. Let's go and then see this one. And let's go and check out this uh, last one at the passenger. Go to full coat. All right, so this one, uh, we have a mirror problem. Well, it's a signal light that I need to change the bulb, okay? And I, that was a quick inspection. You could also go into a deep inspection. And then we click on common system. You saw the common system right here. And uh, you go to uh, old system. Got the engine control module, transmission control module, parking uh, assistance, engine control module 2, uh, clutch control unit, adapted uh, cruise control, and then uh, battery energy control module, all wheel control, immobilizer, and then uh, diesel pump electronic. By the way, this car is not diesel. And then a uh, drive motor uh, control module, fuel supply, and then a battery uh, regulation, battery charger. So a whole bunch of stuff that you could do like a full inspection on it. So this is um, more feature than other uh, scanner. You could uh, look into uh, deeper. And let's go and check out special functions. So right here is a service uh, reset. And then after that, you could uh, click on OK to reset it. Let's go and go back. And then uh, throttle uh, learning. So this one, uh, make sure the ignition is on. Let's go and cancel. And uh, right here is the uh, electronic power brake. So once you replace the pad, you want to go and then uh, reset it here. Let's go there here. Let's go and then uh, crash out there right here and see. And then you can do a vehicle scan, uh, scan and then a uh, service uh, reset right here. Let's go ahead and uh, click on battery check. By the way, uh, this is only uh, applied to 12 volt vehicle. If you have a 24 volt vehicle, it's not going to work for you. So this uh, scanner is only work for uh, 12 volt uh, battery vehicles. I'm just going to press cancel. So you need to start the engine and then it give you like a voltage and everything right here. When the engine off voltage or maximum uh, voltage right here. Mm -hmm. 
And then a uh, setting right here, uh, you can change the units. Metric or uh, English. And then right here, you can change the language the setting. You got English, Dutch, Spanish, French, Italian, and then Chinese. Or restore uh, default device setting. Right here, you can do the firmware upgrade right here. Connect the method. It's on automatic Bluetooth. Screen setting, same system or v vertical screen or horizontal screen. You can set it differently. Got the memory center. Let me see what's the flashlight. Oh, to turn on my flash on the phone. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and click on report. So now we could click on the report right now. And then this will generate all the report. Okay. It gives you like a whole vehicle inspection report, vehicle uh, cell inspection report, OBD2 uh, trouble code uh, report, freeze frame report, performance uh, test report, and then a uh, driving record. So driving record, you need to drive the vehicle while you are, the scanner is plugged in, okay? So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop any other comments on below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next uh, video. Be sure to check out the link that's going to show in the description, and make sure you click on the discount uh, code box uh, so you get a, get a discount price with it. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next uh, video, like always. Peace.